Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith and this is the Premier Collection NASB Single Column Reference Bible from Zondervan. So I recently did a review of the NIV single column reference Bible from Zondervan's Premier Collection. You can watch the video of that in the playlist for the Bible Review blog. And I liked it so much, the, the blue theme. If you remember, I loved the, the blue theme. I decided I wanted to check it out. They make it in several different translations. Zondervan and Thomas Nelson do the Premier Collection together. So um, the New American Standard Bible, I, I ordered it and I assumed that it was going to be the exact same layout, the same thing. But as you can see, these two Bibles are quite different, uh, much thicker, different specs, different layout altogether. I was pleasantly surprised by the NASB. It's um, a really, really cool Bible. Same uh, single column reference style as the NIV, but I've learned that each one of the Premier Collection single column reference Bibles have their own unique features. So um, I'm excited to show this one to you today. Let's take a look. Okay, first things first, here's the box. The New American Standard Single Column Reference Bible from Zondervan's Premier Collection. See all that there. All the details on the back for you. They do a really great job with these two-piece boxes. Here's the Bible itself. I really like the goatskin cover on this one. It's really soft, nice liner. You can see that it's edge-lined and smith-sewn, so it's gonna be really durable. It's gonna hold up over time. This is a very, um, it's floppy, it's good. It's really kind of right in the middle of the road. Just, it's not too soft, but it's not too firm. It's got a really great texture to it. It's a little bit more textured than the NIV that I've recently reviewed. It's got a little bit smoother feel to it. I really like that. You can see that it's got this black and red theme for the NASB. So you're gonna have red under gold, on your art gilding, really nice, as we've done really well. The gold guild line you see there on the inside. On the side, I love these raised ribs. Holy Bible, New American Standard, and Zondervan out on the bottom. Real simple, real clean. In terms of size, it's it's got a traditional large Bible size here where it's 6.25 inches wide and 9.25 inches tall. But you can see that it's a very thick Bible. It's about 1.8 inches thick compared to the NIV. Part of that is because of type size. It's got a bigger font size, but it's also got a bunch of additional features in, in it. So the New American Standard Bible is known for being a word-for-word -word translation. They go from the Hebrew and the Greek and the Aramaic, and they try to get it as close as possible. Um, a very well-regarded translation, lots of readership. You see the publishing information there. This Bible came out earlier this year in 2020. Really interesting features with the New American Standard Bible that I'm excited to show you. If you're not familiar with this translation, it's definitely something to check out. Forward preface, here's the translation principles. You can read all about uh, how they do their translation. The format, this is gonna be interesting to check out if you get this Bible or, or another NASB Bible, they use italics, they use small caps, they use asterisks to kind of give you notes along the way of what they're doing with the translation. I'll explain that more in a moment. Old Testament. I'm just going to get you in here a little bit. You can see it does, it does lay pretty flat right there in Genesis. But I'm going to take you over here to Joshua. So you can see one of the things they did with this Bible is they gave you some information at the beginning of each book. So you have a title and background, author and date, theme and message, and then an outline. You get that for every book of the Bible. And then right here you see it's a single column format. Over here you get footnotes and cross-references in this really wide side column. I like this a lot. Compared to the NIV, remember they put the cross-references here in this blue box that was up at the top of each page and then the references were down here on the bottom so you see oops you see it's a little bit gosh tim you see it's a little bit different this is a little bit thinner wider and my only i don't i wouldn't call it a complaint you see how the text kind of goes or off this curve so in certain places of the bible you got to kind of lean over here to read it a little bit so if it was over a little bit it'd be easier to read but that's 
doing nitpicking. You also notice that this is a verse by verse Bible. So each verse begins its own paragraph. And then you see this one right here, the 12 is bolded. That's their signal to you since everything is indented. That's the signal to you that this is actually the beginning of a new paragraph in the text. So 10 and 11 are not going to normally be their own paragraphs. They flow out of an entire paragraph. But the bold here is the symbol to you as a reader that that's a new paragraph. I like that in terms of verse by verse because it helps you. Verse by verse is fun because you can find your place really easily when you're studying, when you're teaching, when you're preaching, different things like that. Um, but I love the layout of this. Really subtle. They did a typesetting with 2K Denmark, which is a really um, well-regarded, famous company, and they have a different uh, typeface for each translation of the Bible that they do with Zondervan and Nelson in this premiere collection. So it's uh, got nice little subtleties and differences from the NIV to the NASB, the New King James Version. You see the, the red over here in the chapter numbers, as well as the section headings up here in the page numbers. It's really, really beautiful. It's easy to read. This is a 10 and a half point font, which is another reason why this Bible is thicker than the NIV because it was a nine and a half point font. So you have a 10 and a half point font, but it's, it's, it's jumping off the page. This is so comfortable to read. It's line matched. It's on 36 GSM paper. So you're not fighting with that ghosting from the other side of the page. It's just really easy to read, really comfortable. It is a big Bible. It's a big, thick Bible, but I love this. I, I've, I don't go to a church that, the NASB is read out of, so I'm going to ma ma mainly use this not to take it with me to church, but to read from home and to study and use a different translation. And I love that it's nice and big and it's easy to read. The single column format lets me go. It's just really, really well done. Um, getting into the New Testament, you see that there is a black letter text. I want to take us over here to Romans. I want to show you this. This is something interesting about it. So, I noted that there were some interesting points about how they do the NASB. You see in here that there's a lot of small caps, like right in here. So here, Paul is quoting the Old Testament. So in the New American Standard, anytime the Old Testament is being quoted in the New Testament, you get small caps. And that helps you as you're studying to go, oh, okay, so Paul's referencing something from the Old Testament scriptures. That's great. You're also going to notice that there's some words that are italicized. Italics is because they're so... Um, focused in the NASB on translating word for word. These are words that do not appear in the original languages, Greek, Hebrew, Aramaic, but they're um, inferred. They're, they're meant that makes it read well in English. So they tell you, hey, this was not actually there. They're just being completely transparent about that. I love that. It's, as you study and read and you want to know exactly what you're getting into, that's a really great study tool. Um, getting to the back here, after Revelation, this Bible also includes some really great um, additions, an index of the miracles of Jesus, the parables of Jesus, different perspectives of the Bible. What to read when the future seems hopeless. Here's some passages, a whole list of those. Prayers of the Bible, look at that. Promises of the Bible. And then you get a dictionary, concordance, thesaurus, all in one. I love this. It's a three-column format, read for the words, really easy to read. Great study tool, adding this dictionary, concordance, thesaurus at the back of this Bible. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. It's great. And then we get, there's your note. There's some blank paper back here. Here's your note that they include about the NASB typeface designed by 2K Denmark. And then of course you get a set of Bible maps. This is a thicker, glossier, glossier cardstock, but done really well. A big, thick NASB Bible that you can study with. It has lots of references, great features, beautiful to read, really well laid out in a single column format. I'm extremely impressed. So there you have it. It's the NASB single column reference Bible from Zondervan. Really, really great Bible. Their premier collection is uh, really impressive to me. So I'd love to know what you think about it. Leave me a comment below. And if you'd like to like and subscribe here on YouTube, that would be awesome. You can also read more about this Bible and see great photos at BibleReviewBlog.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.